As you notice, I'm wearing a different colored shirt. That means they've captured me, and I need help. No, but really though, we're actually gonna look at something very popular on TikTok right now, which I'm not sure why, but I guess TikTok likes to recycle some old news. However, there is some new relevancy to this. So the story goes that this guy named Matt Morgan, or well, his full name is Jacob Matthew Morgan, was 17 years old when he lit his mobile home on fire in South Carolina in 2016, and he willingly did this at two fires inside the home, whilst his 14-month-year-old brother was still in the home, and yes, this did result in the child's death, and he was sentenced to 137 years in prison. Well, that's actually not quite the case. The real story here is that, yes, he did, indu he did indeed do those things. However, he actually was sentenced to 15 years in prison, and we're gonna dive into it and look into the case a bit and actually look at his inmate record. So, look in here. <clears throat> Pretty much covering what I said before, Jacob Matt Morgan, who is mostly referred to as Matt Morgan, was 17 years old when he set his home on fire in South Carolina, killing his 14-month-old brother. According to court documents, Matt Morgan would set at least two fires inside of the trailer home and then leave the residence. Authorities would charge him with murder after he willfully leave his brother. Why does that not sound right, Lee? A uh, 14-month-old brother inside the burning residence, his parents told authorities that Matt Morgan suffers from a number of mental health issues, including being on the autism spectrum. Regardless, this teen killer would be sentenced to 15 years in prison. Okay, so that debunks one thing. However, is that a light enough sentence? Um, in my opinion, no. Um, him being in the spectrum and mentally ill and things like that, uh, hopefully we find some more information on that, because, I mean, yeah, that may shed some light on things. However, that's arson and murder. 15 years is just involuntary manslaughter. Remember, Stas Reflay, the guy who killed his girlfriend on stream, that guy's also getting 15 years, and these are both pretty bad crimes, so it makes you wonder, like, what? I mean, this is also America versus Russia, and it's the same charge. Weird. This is actually him, and it actually says his release date is in 2022. This happened in 2016. That is only a six-year difference. That is very odd. He pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and unlawful conduct of a child in court. What the fuck is unlawful conduct of a child? Jacob, Ma Jacob Matthew Morgan, 17 years old, will spend 15 years in the Department of Corrections. He was arrested last year after a fire. I guess this was actually, what was this? 2019. Wait, what? I'm not sure. We'll look into that. Put a guilty to involuntary manslaughter instead of murder. Uh, an unlawful conduct towards a child charge, rather than homicide by child abuse. The teenager also entered the Alford plea, maintaining his innocence for third degree arson rather than first degree arson. I don't, which the Alford plea, if you're not aware of it, is you're receiving punishment without admission to guilt. Why he qualifies for that or how that works, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. If I was, I probably would have a different YouTube. It'd probably be nicer. That'd be a cool lawyer. Uh, <clears throat> at least I think so. Last year, prosecutors said Morgan gave several conflicting statements before eventually admitting to starting the fire. Investigators <clears throat> excuse me, testified a fire pattern showed two fires were set and said Morgan's stories didn't add up. So... I mean... Come on now. He admitted to it, so why is that not a murder charge? And why only 15 years? And if that's the case, well, this is 2019. He was caught in 2018? What? So he's getting out on a four year sentence? That's confusing. But just wait a minute, we'll look at his inmate information. Prosecutors told the judge the fire had two points of origin from the bedroom where Hill was asleep in the living room. Morgan was accused of lighting tea candles before the trail room went up in flames. You just said a fucking hell. Shit, that just proves. Don't leave even tea candles out. Don't leave shit on your altar. Don't leave shit anywhere. Shit, don't even leave incense burning before you leave the house. He told the judge that he loved his brother and wishes he could have saved him. Huh. 
He had a fascination with fire. Evidence pointed to the flames being intentionally set. Well, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. He said he did. Whether he certainly intended to kill his brother or not may be up for debate, but he obviously set the fire that ultimately killed his brother. Well, he willingly did it, and he knew his brother was in there. I don't understand the mindset of this. This is actually kind of a mystery in a way, because why would he have a... Like, what's the motive here? Is he just insane? I mean, mentally ill? Oh, this is a stepfather, so it's a half-brother, which that doesn't mean anything else. It's just interesting to know, but Mike Hill, with a Y... I will never get over losing my little boy. I will never get over my other son being accused of the loss of our little boy. Stepfather right there, that's some good shit. For real. You accept your, you know, your spouse's kids. A first degree arson charge carries a mandatory minimum of 30 years in prison after consulting with a public defender. He got a public defender and he got that off like that? Morgan opted into the Alford plea, admitting the state had enough evidence to convict him. We, I've always believed in his innocence because we know our son. We know the evidence against him looks horrible. And that's what his mom said in court. That's kind of sad. Prosecutors said, are the pleased with the deal and the amount of time Morgan will serve behind bars? His friends, neighbors, and family were ever very adamant in us not prosecuting him at all, but that was not an option because it was obviously a crime. Morgan's family feels they're losing another son. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'll play the video, I guess, of him, uh freaking out hearing a sentence in court. five years probation after his release but could be sent back to jail for 15 years if he violates any of the terms jeez i mean it makes sense but probation's rough you've got to pay for that too the whole time monthly you get a drop randomly i've never been on probation just an fyi but i my brother has and it's it's rough <laughs> i'll tell you what it's rough um it's expensive too it's like genuinely set up for you to fail uh so i mean let's look at his imminent information real quick all right so this is all public information. I don't have to censor this. It's not like uh, it's showing his address or phone number. I mean, he's in prison. You can go find him if you like. Don't harass him. So right here, it actually says projected release date is December of, uh, I can't highlight, I am fine. Ooh, it's pretty highlight color. It's like a fucking, look at that lavender, ADHD. It's, yeah, December 14th of 2022. That's incredible. Parole eligibility, March of this year. He could be released that early, actually, of March of this year. That means he can't get furlough or re-entry data. I don't know what that... I think furlough is when you, like, leave supervised or whatever, which is fucking weird. Adult straight sentence. No, okay, so he was admitted in to jail, meaning he was processed in this prison at, uh, on February 11th of 16, so that's when that occurred. That was conflicting. He's 5'5", 144. He, he's, uh... He's a small fellow. Oh, build small. Um, this was actually in 16, so he could look way different right now. He was charged with third degree arson, involuntary manslaughter, and child neglect. Yeah, child neglect. 10 years and 5 for the involuntary manslaughter. 0 for the third degree arson. That's interesting. I, I don't know. I've never actually gotten to, like, and when I covered a case, like, I can't find Stas Reflay's thing. I want to. I want to do a thing. Like, I want to update him more on that case. Not just because it got me views, but because it's a fascinating and fucked up case. So seeing this, it's, uh, interesting to actually look into the, look into the arrest information. He has no escape attempts or disciplinary actions, so he's probably a role model in me. Work credits... I guess he started work. I don't know what that means. Oh. Usually he does some work in jail. Ed education? Makes you wonder though, like, what? 
what is the motive here? What, what was the point in this? Was this a random act because of mental illness? Was this something that he did plan and he did want to kill his brother? But why? He was 17 years old at the time and hearing that and then just looking at it blown up on TikTok with him crying except for some mediocre music because, you know, kids. But like, someone to be sentenced to even 15 years in prison for this seems low. I mean, seeing the 137 year was actually more satisfying to read and honestly that's what I expected after reading the story and it took me a while to find this guy's name for some reason. I was not aware of this case up until probably 20 minutes before recording this to be honest with you so that's why we're diving in right now. Excuse me. Um, it's just fascinating to see and I would like to update things on uh, cases like this and I like diving into the more obscure cases I guess. Um, I mean Stas Reflight was a big thing and that one still sticks with me. And this, anything involving a child, and you get that light of a sentence, and why is he eligible to be released this early? It doesn't make any sense. That's not long in prison for burning down your home and killing your 14 month year old brother. That's a year and two months for those who can't do quick maths. So that's really disturbing to say the least. Something interesting apparently happened to this guy when he was in jail, though, as someone actually tried to attack him. A teen murder suspect accused in jail attack on teen that killed half-brother in fire. A teenager accused in a deadly shooting in Rock Hill, which was the same area as when this, this guy killed his brother, is facing new charges after investigators say he attacked another inmate in jail who was also facing murder charges. According to the report, 17-year-old Quinteris Zaquan Miller Wow, I hope I said that right. I sound like I did. I feel kind of proud. Uh, no offense to anybody with names of like ethnicity or anything like that, but really easy to butcher other people's names. It's facing assault charges after investigators say he punched 17-year-old Jacob Matthew Morgan in the face. Yeah, that's him. While the pair were detained in, New in York County Detention Center, Miller is charged with the murder and the shooting death of Anthony Hart along Frank Street last month. Hart was found laying out a gun stolen from the police department. How do you do with that? He was rushed to Carolina's Medical Center in Charlotte where he later died. Miller is being held up for one count of murder and ten counts of attempted murder after he fired off additional shots. What the fuck? So yeah, you've seen a video attacking Morgan Thursday night, which this was a while ago, who suffered a busted limb. So he just, he just clocked him good. I mean, rightfully so in a way. I mean, I, I don't know the full story in a way and I don't know his side, I don't know if he had like a mental episode or something, but I think that's twisted. I don't, I don't think it's a difficult thing to process because there's not, they're not, there's not a whole lot of details on the mental illness side of it. So you can't really say, okay, well, he's just a disgusting piece of shit or he's really fucked up in the head and needs help because there are people that genuinely need mental help and that need to be processed in a different way. And unfortunately people are in the crossfire of mental illness. And that's why I strongly advocate for it because it's a very misunderstood thing and being mentally ill is a spectrum of things. I mean, that could be, you know, schizophrenia, that could be depression. I mean, things are affected differently and they work differently and they need to be addressed differently. And those kind of things are overlooked because those kind of injuries, those kind of uh, sicknesses, those illnesses are invisible to the naked eye. And really a lot of people don't even know they have issues until they have an episode or someone else tells them they're diagnosed. I mean. This is a very unfortunate situation, and honestly, the baby's really cute, and I mean, regardless of people's or not, but I mean, the, he seems very happy with his brother, so it's really up in the air for debate as to why this happened. And for him to be sentenced just to 15 years blows my mind, but for him to be released sooner than that, just six years. A little, what, five, a little over five, six years. My math is actually not the best, truthfully, but that's actually rather disturbing in itself, and it makes you wonder um, what went on in his head and what's the next steps if he does get released. But if you want me to look more into this case, please comment down below, and if you have any information to share about it, yeah, please let me know. But it's not 137 years, TikTok lies. It's kind of weird, but did you know that people can go on the internet and lie? It's news to me. I mean, my dad works for Nintendo, remember? But anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. 
I'm gonna do a pet reveal then based on a comment I wanna I put in and uh, cause you hear a lot of noises in my background that I can't control sometimes so yeah we'll figure out something else too I got a discord actually I'm gonna be probably linking in the description of this video if you guys wanna hop in and start communicating um, still in the works working out some stuff but it'd be a good way to connect you can also follow me on Twitter and TikTok um, anyways thanks for watching please subscribe see ya